So I was in a, I'm in a service. This, this must have been 20 years ago. I'm in a service. Where, I'm in the worship. And I hear the Lord saying, when I'm getting ready to take you or bring you, I forget how he worded it, full circle. Full circle. Well, my first thought was, well, because, by the way, when he said you, I knew it was plural. It wasn't just me. It was the, it was the body. It was the church. And, and when, he, when he said full circle, my first thought was, is this good or bad? <laughs> because if you're like me, you know, you've failed a few tests, and one of the good things about God, he just lets you keep taking the test till you pass. <laughs> so I was thinking, I'm saying, is this good or bad? And then I knew immediately it was good. Because it's like a, in my spirit, I, could just, I knew it was good. And then he took me to this vision. And in the vision, it was like I was caught up to the sky and looking down on the earth. And I saw this huge circle being drawn, it looked like just a, a circle on the ground, flat. And as I watched it, wondering what this was all about and what, it was, what he was trying to say about the full circle, the vision changed and he took me from here to here and I was looking from the side and I could see that I wasn't looking at a circle painted on the ground. I was looking at what maybe I could describe as a coil. It was doing this. Looking down on it, it looked flat. But from the side, I could see that it was doing this. So what he said to me was, full circle, full circle, higher level. I'm going to bring another wave of some things, another outpouring of some things. You're going to do things, the, the church is going to do things that, that they've done before, or my people have done before, but I'm going to bring it all to a higher level. A revival's coming, but it's going to be a higher level revival than you've seen in the past. Signs and wonders are coming, but it's going to be a higher level. Salvations. Breakthroughs. It's all going to a new level. So it's a fascinating picture. I didn't know exactly what to do with it, but I was spending some time thinking about it from then on for the next few weeks, praying into it, and mentioned it in a message shortly after that and a man came up to me after the service and he said uh, he introduced himself he said i'm a uh, spirit-filled messianic jewish rabbi and he said i was really fascinated by your story about the circle and what you saw and the word full circle but he said you, you could you, you, what, what he showed you is, is sort of the, is the way we view time. Well, he said, we don't, we, don't, we don't measure time or see time the way Westerners do, as in a timeline, a linear. We believe it's cyclical. It's a circle that God uh, does things on. I don't understand all of that, but but he made sense when he said it. He, he, he explained. If he was here right now, he could make sense of it. But I, I knew he was telling me something I needed to know. And then he said, um, he said, it's like time is pregnant I said um, okay <laughs> he said we believe God puts speaks things into time the eternal God outside of time speaks and puts something into our realm and it's there 
It's there for us to tap into and to draw on that power. He said, he said we, don't th- we don't believe it comes and goes. We just believe it's there. And we also believe that certain times of the year, when we come to that time when God did something 4,000 years ago in that month, that it's easier to tap into it again right now because it's just there and time to be taken. He said that's why we, the feasts are so important because we don't believe we're just celebrating a ritual from back there. We believe what he's doing and what he did back then in that feast, then every year he's ready to do that again. It's just there. It's not like God finally decides, I'll do it again this year. It's like it's just there. We can tap into it. I'm not saying I, I understand all that. That's, that's what he said to me. That's, he said, and that's what they believe. So then he said to me, do you know what the word testimony means in Hebrew? And I said, no, I mean, if I had studied it, I wouldn't have told him. I'm not gonna, about to try to tell this guy what it means. You know. <laughs> um, but I said, well, no, I don't, I've never studied that. He said, well, he said, the word testimony in Hebrew doesn't mean to just tell about something that happened in the past. It actually comes from a root word that means not say it again or talk about it. It means do again. Or repeat something or the continuation of something. And this guy's just blowing my mind. I mean, I'm just standing there going, okay. He said, we believe that when we talk about something and we tell the story or say what he did then, power, the same power is released today that was released then, then God does it again because that's what the word means, do it again. And he said, this is why it's so important to us to teach history to our children because he said, when, and it's why God gets so angry and got so angry at, at, at Israel when they wouldn't teach their children and, talk about, and tell them the stories of what he did because we believe when you, when you tell a story to the, to the children about Passover and the miracles and the deliverance and the great works that he did, we believe the same power is released today to deliver them and to, and to work in their lives as was released back then with Moses. I mean, this guy was just rocking my world. And then he said, of course, he's, he's now he's, he's embraced the cross and redemption and Messiah. So he said, I've actually been testing this and, 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 and pra- putting this into practice. He said, we've been sending people who have been healed by God to sick people and tell them, don't pray, just tell your story. Just give your testimony. And every day we send them back. I say, don't pray for them, just just tell them what God did for you. And then go back tomorrow, tell them what God did for you. And then go back the next day, tell them what God did for you. And he said, we are seeing people healed from, by doing nothing but saying what God did. And you're saying it now and it brings it into today. Today. 